Tonight we're over at the Design Museum to have our second annual session around creative disruption. Uh, last year we looked at fashion and this year it is the high street. Many people say the high street is dead, we just think it got smarter. One of the reasons why Bird & Bird is interested in this creative disruption is much like what's happening out there in the real world, London behind us, uh, people are innovating, they're using technology, not because it's technology, but because you can do something with it. We would say it's not about the law, but it's what you do with it. The biggest challenge of our business is that we're trying to convince brands and retailers to use much more sophisticated marketing solutions to push their promotions in front of the customers or the target customers. And in reality, most of the marketing spend is still being spent on very traditional marketing channels, whether it's print media or PR. I think the problem corp big corporates have is that the world is moving very fast, especially in retail, where everyone needs to be an omni-channel. And often the skill sets that exist within these businesses, whether it's their legacy systems or people employed within the company, aren't able to keep up fast enough with the challenges and changes. So um, what we've been able to do is to help those corporates find ways in which to engage with the startups and to become more agile in themselves and effectively to be able to start and run as fast as the small companies want the corporates to do, which has been very engaging for both sides. So one in three uh, fashion items sold online gets sent back in the UK. In Germany it can be as much as 50%. What we do is help retailers spot that after a really small number of returns that may have come in anywhere in the country. We spot which problem products are going to make their customers unhappy and we spot which problem customers are going to make their bottom line very unhappy. We do that with data and we give the retailer an early warning system so they can act really, really quickly. I think really one of the main themes was the retail sector as a whole provides a great opportunity to move seamlessly from the online to the physical shopping experience. It was really interesting and it's always really good to hear what people are thinking, what people are doing and especially in digital and what was so amazing was that the speakers who were there, they're really at the forefront of the shift to different platforms and different ways of just watching what we do, how we do it, how we spend our money, how we think about spending money. It's, it's quite, quite an eye-opener, actually. It was great to see how the um, e-commerce and online retail industry has um, evolved and developed um, over, the, over the past couple of years. It is about highlighting what is going on out there in the high street and how with technology we're creating new opportunities. And that is exactly like with the Design Museum, show what we've already done and what we can do going forward. Brilliant partnership. The general theme is, you know, they've all got great guts, they all gave up their jobs, they were entrepreneurs, they were all committed to what they were doing, they believed passionately in what they were doing, that it meant something. And I think that was the big theme, that if you want to do something, you've got to get on and do it. Looking back at the event tonight, what I hope people will take away from it is that, one, they see how technology is playing a role in the high street, but it's neither killing the high street, nor does it take anything away from it. It makes it a richer experience.